In this video, I'm going to be talking about the platform Triple Well and how you can use it to make higher quality media buying decisions by having more accurate data attributed to the ads and the campaigns are actually working. So this solves for the problem where Facebook is under or over reporting in your ads manager. This helps to eliminate that issue and it gives you another source of truth that you can leverage to make higher quality decisions. Now, my name is Jack Newman. I run a digital marketing agency called UKB Marketing. There's a link in the description if you want to book a call with me to discuss working with us where we actually handle your ads hands on. In this video, however, I'm going to be talking about Triple Well, as I mentioned, and going into a lot of detail, um, or as much detail as I can, in terms of how we're using it as an agency to better service our clients. So with that said, let me jump into the platform and we'll go from there. Okay, so before we jump into the platform, I'm just going to show you their website. So if you just go to triplewell.com, you can have a scroll through and you can have a look at what they offer. Now, one cool thing is the pricing, so I'll actually talk about that. Triplewell lists the pricing directly on their page rather than some of the competitors where you have to actually go away and contact them, and then they'll get you back to you about the pricing. So uh, it's much better on Triplewell. You can actually have a look and see. They have different plans. You're going to want one that includes the pixel. So uh, they've updated their pricing quite recently by the looks of things. Um, so it's one two nine per month for the growth plan, and that includes the Triplewell well pixel which is what you're going to need for accurate tracking so in terms of pricing it's pretty cost effective another really important thing to note is that triple well only works with shopify so at the time of filming this video you can't use triple well with your wordpress site you can't use it with a woocommerce big commerce site you can't use it with any of those types of other e-commerce platforms you have to use it exclusively with shopify so for those of you that have a shopify store this is going to be a great solution it's an alternative to platforms like hyros it's actually a lot more cost effective than hyros and if you have a shopify store this is the route that we would go down this is what we recommend for our clients to use specifically so once you create your account, hook up your store and open up the platform, this is what you're going to be presented with. So assume you set up all your integrations, which will be done in settings. I'm not going to actually walk through how to do that in this video. It's fairly straightforward. If you need clarity on that, I can film future videos. But essentially, once you've got everything linked up, you're going to get this summary page. Okay, so this pulls data from a few different places. So you've got your headline statistics. I'm just going to put this for the month to date for this specific client. Now, some of this information is all going to be blurred out because, again, this is sensitive information for one of our clients. I'm not actually show a lot of these figures but essentially you're going to have um, your net profit your ROAS your marketing efficiency rate and you're going to have a few other statistics you can actually customize all of this as well so it's like a central dashboard it's going to pull data in from the triple well pixel it's also going to pull data in from your Shopify store directly so you can actually see your Shopify store statistics inside triple well it's going to pull through the Facebook ad data as well so the actual reported sales are on Facebook, things like that, they are all gonna get pulled through as well. Same with your Google ad platform. So you can connect up quite a lot of different platforms in terms of like Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok, etc. And it's all gonna show here inside your Triple Well dashboard. And you can also set up like custom expenses. So Triple Well is able to take into account things like your shipping costs, your taxes. Um, you can also set up custom expenses like agency fees, percentages that you pay out, things like that. So all of those things are possible to add in when calculating like your overall profit margins and things like that through the platform. Platform. So it's really good for doing those types of things and it's got a lot of power behind it in order to be able to see all the metrics and statistics that you need to. There are other options when you click on summary. I'm not going to go through these today. Instead, the main thing I want to talk about is the pixel. So when you click on pixel, you can click on ads and that is going to essentially bring up a dashboard which looks similar to the Facebook ads manager and it's going to show you the campaigns that are running for this account. So for this client, we have just one campaign running. We're doing our creative testing within that one campaign structure. It's working extremely well for this client. So um, a lot of this information is unfortunately going to be blurred out, but I am going to show you what I can to give you as much information as I can about the platform. So you've got your ads over here. You can select the different platforms from the top. So if you've um, got all these looked up, uh, Facebook, Google Ads, Microsoft, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, and Snapchat, you can either select all of them or you can just select one. So I'm just choosing Facebook for now. And then you can see your campaigns. You've got your campaign name, you've got your ROAS. Now, anything that has this little floppy disk icon, this is gonna be your triple whale reported ROAS. So this is your triple whale pixel data. One other thing at the top here, you have this TA. This is the type of attribution. So attribution essentially is how a platform is gonna look at the way that a sale or a lead is being attributed back to a specific ad. So there's different ways you can do this. So you can look at Triple attribution, which means each channel gets 100% credit, similar to how ad platforms work, except it's using their data versus the ad platform. You can look at triple well attribution plus Facebook view throughs, which again is going to overlay the Facebook view through data. You can also look at first click, last click, etc. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are just going to look at triple attribution for the time being. So you can see here the ROAS 2.21 for the specific account, 228 purchases. 
conversion value you can see there, CPA, again, this is the triple whale CPA. So they're taking the spend directly from the platform. Anything that has this little Facebook logo next to it is the specific platform. So you've got the platform there. And you've also got the triple whale conversion value. So it's taking the purchases from Shopify, it's matching them up, and that is what it's using as the data. As I scroll across here, you've got a few different things. So you've got the conversion value that Facebook's reporting. And again, you can set up these columns how you like, but this is just the way that I have it set up, which is fairly default. You've got the conversion value, which is 8.1K for this specific client in this date range. Now, triple whale's reporting a 6.2K conversion value. So a little bit of a difference there. Another thing that I really like about Triple Whale is that it has this new conversion value, NCV. This means we can see how many new customers we are adding and what the new customer cost per acquisition is, the new customer AOV and the new customer conversion value is. This is really, really good data. So I like the fact that this is here as well. You can see new customer AOV 27, uh, new customer conversion value 5.7K for this specific day range, okay? New customer CPA is 13.40 versus the CPA, so acquiring new uh, customers and old customers is a 12.46 okay pretty good now if i just compare that to the facebook data it's going to be quite interesting so here we can see we've got 307 sales now if i just flick back to triple whale we can see here that we had 228 okay so it's attributing more now just bear in mind as well if i add a triple whale plus view throughs it goes to 294 which is not too dissimilar from the 307 so pretty good actually again that's because facebook is looking at view throughs whereas triple whale when i just do triple attribution is only looking at the data that has from uh, clicks and sessions that it can count. It's not adding view through conversion events, okay? So here you can see 307 sales. If we have a look at the CPA, we're looking at a £9.24 versus uh, Triple Whale, which is reporting a £12. Okay, so again, you can see the difference there. Add to cart conversion value, 11 k and then conversion value here, 8 k which again is what I showed you earlier. Um, and if you look in triple well, that is actually looking more like a six. Okay, so really, really good. Now, one thing that is different to Hyros, and there's a link in the description of this video to the Hyros platform review, which I did. But one thing that's different is Hyros, you can overlay the data onto the ads manager. At the time of filming this video, to my knowledge, there's no way of doing that with triple well. So you have to basically use triple well um, in conjunction with your ads manager to see the results. But if you click on the campaigns, you'll see all the different ad sets. Okay, and again, you can see which ad sets are performing well, which ad sets are underperforming. This gives a really good insight into how the performance of the campaigns are going. You can then click on some of these and it's going to load up the individual ads as well. So you can start seeing which ads are on, which ads are off, which are producing row ads, which aren't. You can sort by your purchases, you can sort by spend. So if we could filter this and sort it by spend, so we can start to see okay, which assets are spending the most during that time frame, getting the least return, getting the highest return, etc. etc. From there, we can go back into Facebook, we can turn things on or off, which again is a great way of doing things. So and this is typically how we're making decisions for our clients when they're using Shopify and Triple Whale. We're going in, we're having a look at the triple data. This is our source of truth, if you like. We have other documentation as well, which pulls directly from Shopify, puts it into a spreadsheet and things like this. But in terms of day-to-day -day media buying decisions, when they have triple well active, we are using that as our source of truth. We're not really relying on this number here. Now, just a note, if this number here is wildly inaccurate, so if, if this was saying like 100 sales and we know we've actually had like 228, there'd be a tracking issue. So any like alarm bells like that that will come up where you just see massive discrepancies in data we want these to align fairly closely because that means that facebook is getting highest quality data into the account so if i look at triple attribution plus view throughs you can see here we've got 294 facebook's got 308 it's pretty good i'm happy with that slight over attribution perhaps for facebook but again they're reporting slightly differently so that attribution windows and the way that they are getting that data is slightly different so it's not a big concern to me that the account is um looking slightly different on facebook versus triple well so that's an overview of the platform a couple of other things I want to run through is just how quick and easy it is to set this up. So all you have to do is just go to tracking settings. You can then go to Facebook and what it's going to do is it's going to give you this piece of code. You can just copy this code. You will go over to any one of your ads. So I'm just going to edit this campaign, click on one of the creatives. And if you scroll right down here, you can see you've got this tracking and then you've got this URL parameters. And all you have to do is just paste it inside those URL parameters and just paste it in there, press publish and that is gonna give you the data that you need to track ads accurately. Now, while I'm here, I'm just gonna talk about Google Ads very briefly. You can actually set this up to automatically pull in the tracking uh, template into your Google Ads. There is a way of doing it manually. However, again, you can just do it automatically and it's gonna apply the tracking parameters for you. So you connect your account and it's gonna essentially do this for you, which again, super quick and easy. And in the Ads Manager, um, or in the Pixel, sorry, if you click on Ads and you choose Google, again, it's gonna start showing you the data for Google as well. 
Again, you can see the ROAS here, purchases, etc., etc., for that date range. So, looking really healthy on this account. So, that's an overview of Triple Well. I want to keep the video quite short. This video specifically is to show you really how you can use it for ad attribution. There's a ton more that you can do. A couple of bonus features I'm just going to show you within the platform. These are things that we use less frequently, but are still worth showing while I'm talking about the platform is the insights tab. So, depending on your plan that you choose pricing wise uh, in terms of what you're paying them you have these different options so we can look at things like different cohorts you can create custom ones and you can use the data that they already provide so you can look at things like ltv you can look at things you can filter all of this and it's going to give you some different data here we can look at ltv 60 90 days things like that there's a lot of things and data points and reporting that we can actually leverage within triple whale so we can see the, what is the AOV on this specific product. We can then see what is the LTV over 60 days for these specific products. And this is gonna help us choose which product is the right one to promote and choose how we can actually grow the business by understanding what product is contributing to the bottom line as best as possible over a longer date range, over a shorter date range, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we're having a look at this data as well. You've got things like the sales cycle where you can go through and you can understand a little bit more about how customers get. I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm just really showing you it very, very briefly. This is something that you can look at in their own documentation, their own demos, and I can make future videos if you feel like it is something that you want. Just drop a comment and I can dig into more of this stuff. But essentially what we've got here is we've got a mix of different reporting structures that show us how our customers are behaving, essentially. And that is going to give us a lot of insight into the best way that we can take the accounts forward. All right, so tons here to dig into, like I said, Lots of options to create custom reports. There's a ton of different data uh, points available in this platform and it gives us a lot to dive into. So overall, I want to teach you more just about how we're using it for ad attribution and day-to-day -day media buying. I will probably make future videos talking more about the advanced reporting that's available. However, I hope you've got a ton of value from this. Please like, subscribe to the video. Like I said, there's a link in the top line of the description where you can book a call with me. We can go through your account and we can see if what we offer as an agency is a right fit for you. With that said, thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video.